Hi John here. Um, today it's uh, Wednesday, the uh, 17th of August 2016. Uh, I've just got some news to announce that uh, uh, we are now a registered company in the uh, company house in London, UK, with uh, My Powerhouse Group Limited uh, registered. Uh, with nine 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 shares, so that's one of a billion shares. <coughs> I'm happy. Uh, just to let you know that our staff are just filling in their roles as um, what to do. Just recalling back what I did to run companies in the early days, not on a scale like this though, uh, so uh, a bit different, and have to get this one right with uh, tax laws in Britain, though that might change in time, still that's the law, we follow the law there in the law in New Zealand, company's office, our parent company is one of a trillion shares, 999999999 So that um, is registered as well uh, here in New Zealand company's office so that company will continue in the New Zealand dollar currency system and the other one which just registered now will be in the British Great Britain Pound note sterling currency uh, with the Moai Pound note uh, yet to be introduced once we get the tidal turbine up and running on its shareholding. We're doing that at the moment, so I'm having a, a towering time recalling everything back from 2012. Um, I'm a lonesome here. So now we've got investors circling around, which they have every right to, but I'm just saying that's a corporate system and we're going along with this corporate flag as our authority to trade anywhere in the world with the tidal turbine platform bridge in the CD. That's what I want to assure you, the shareholders joining us, that we have a legal authority under the King William IV Admiralty, King of the Sea title, uh, jurisdiction, <coughs> to administer the banknotes and the gold coins of King William IV, Bank of England Act 1833, and the Coins Mint Act, Mines Act, 1833, and also the Pound Note Act, 1833, is our legal authority to use those currencies when we are ready to do so. So we're making the Pound Note, the Moai Pound Note, compatible with the British Pound Note in our business transactions and banking tax systems around the world in 250 countries that we on the website. I'm having to spend a bit of time with uh, Moira here in Rotorua uh, to pick up on uh, how um, the shareholding works in membership in line with the British um, company's house, which we're following soon running it from here. It doesn't matter where I am in the world, I'll be on the laptop running it as remote as, as other shareholders joining will be the same as what the um, investors will be called in to help along the way uh, from anywhere. So I'm waiting for a call from California um, right now be any time now, it should have been 6 o'clock really, um, he's in time, um, so their time there 
would be two o'clock or something in the afternoon. So it looks like eight o'clock or eight o'clock. It's now nine o'clock or eight fifty-four. So that's looking more like two o'clock over there in the afternoon. So I'm expecting a call any time now and will not hesitate to take any investor on. If you're watching this video anywhere in the world, we have one off a billion shares ready to go now uh, in London and the company is set up ready to go now, legal, operating from today's notice and this announcement on Facebook and YouTube to you all that uh, I'm just putting together the latest um, prospectus and articles of association. Uh, they're split up in the shares of, uh, I might as well tell you now, uh, while I'm on this clip, that I'll put this out to the public because I'm expecting to start straight away as soon as one of the investors takes it on board. But they still need to see an update of the company itself, its profile and its concept business plan for the tidal turbines. There is a lot of interest around the world watching this for many years. It's up to about from 2004 foreshore and seabed. I started this in 2000, the year 2000, so that's 16 years it's taken to get this far with these turbines. They're quite huge um, and so is the output and so is the revenue from it. I'm comparing this with a uh, um, new concept wave uh, tidal energy uh, project that's starting next year in Scotland. I've put it on our site and I like that concept idea where it's using hydraulics as its main source of power, mechanical power, uh, pumped back to shore from the seabed Although they're in calm waters, not as rough as where we're going, in the worst of conditions in the seas, we're going into the roughest places where you'd never put a turbine of that type in there, or windmill type turbines will be smashed to bits where we're putting these ones. So um, I just want to go over a little bit of the concept to the uh, investors, uh, how it works, what it is, who we are, and how we're going to attract investors, um, companies that set up investments um, to come in, and we we'll only need one to do the whole thing, because we've got just that one England country with a billion, one off a billion shares, and another billion for each other country on our website, moaipowerhouse.com. M-O-A-I, M-O-A-I, P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M, moaipowerhouse.com. So there you'll see the flags of each country. Now, Moira here, um, she's, I've just spent a bit of time in the last hour and a half or two um, constructing all the um, people filling in the form on the front of our website. It's going straight into Moira and Rotorua and she's operating this company um, as, as a manager for England and we're picking people from all over the world operating remote on laptop or tablet or whatever and um, uh, to manage, co-manage um, this business as self-employed uh, contract. Uh, so we're going under the contract laws of, of um, Britain, UK, England, and treating each country as its separate country, not state. Um, one for one country at a time. So she has the job of putting those applications from each country into their folder for classifying them in their 
their governance. Okay, so that's that part. Now the company itself, um, I'm the director, and we have the um, one person in Scotland, one in England, and uh, uh, me here, and my staff here. Uh, and um, that's about it for now, although we have other countries with potential, America, India and Africa, uh, but not yet. It hasn't been official. I wanted to start in one place in Dover, in England, in the Dover Straits, and was going to be Margate, but I've changed now and gone back to Dover, and um, Renfrew Bank off the East Cape in New Zealand. This is quite a a big leap ahead of the other turbines. Uh, Rob, if you're watching this in California, Trump Towers, um, I'm just saying to you uh, that I'll have something put together and the more exposure it gets in amongst the world, the better. And if you're up dressed best first, then that's the way I'm going to go. I'm not uh, going to hesitate but to put people that know what they're doing to attract shareholding that big, that many. Uh, but the idea is very good. The idea is solid, as this flag is, as Moai statue is, our brand names. Um, Moai is the brand name of this company, and it's standing in Washington, D.C., the Moai, the real Moai statue from East Island. That's our title to God's planet, Earth. And there's Moai standing in New York, with King William was there, when he, before he became king, he was instrumental in the Navy, as being the sailor boy, and the king of the sea, emperor. And he strung together that stock exchange, I guess, in New York City, as being corporate king, corporate system under kings. And the other system that's running now is corporate trusts under Queen Elizabeth the second, quite separate from us being King William the Fourth and King Ernest Augustus the Fifth in England, alive and well, who I want to put in Westminster and correct the whole system for change, a big change in the monarchy back to the king. Okay, so I'm speaking here for the native kings in the Pacific. We have kings as well. We have kings in, in New Zealand as well. So that's a king role. But I'm here as uh, advocate, legal side of the corporate law and trusts that I'm correcting here to make the correction to the system so that we don't overrun each other out of business apart from holding people to account for fraud, which you see on our site. But right, here we go, with the company being set up with 999999999 shares. They are split up in 400, of 400 million of those shares <coughs> are going out as A shares, um, and the B shares are 999 million Shares are gifts at 25 shares each person who joins up. So it's more a free gift as loyalty to the king in Moai and the company itself, which is for the world, not just limited to one country. Uh, so there's 99 million shares. Um, that are gifted as an incentive to take part in something as large as these turbines. And we have um, the C shares that will be remaining at 500 we held in the company. And then we're splitting off the 500 shares into 249 million shares at 20 pounds a share, okay, 20 pounds a share. That will yield 12.5 billion. From that, 
to cover the um, project of the platform with a single bank of turbines and it's working out at 5 million per megawatt of power produced. We're only going on 5 million pounds for 1 megawatt to produce it on the seabed in electricity and hydrogen. So the normal tidal turbine that you see on our site now, the wave runner, hydraulic um, operating tidal turbines, tidal floats, wave floats, uh, they're producing hydraulic power to make electricity. That's working out it would be more than 2 million. The normal CGN windmill type um, 1.2 megawatt uh, power generator under the tides that's been going for over 8 years successfully without a problem. That's producing, uh, that costs uh, 1.2 million per megawatt. Okay, to build that. Well, it's blown out to 2 million now. So, uh, I'm guessing that, um, well, they have a figure of 6 million. Uh, no, 6. They have, a, they have that, those wave, uh, um, wave um, power generators that's going to be built next year on the plans at the moment. That's putting out 6 megawatts of power. So that would cost 12 million to build, right? So I took that figure and converted it into our turbines, which would put out 2,500 megawatts of power. All I'm saying is the turbines we build will pull out more hydraulic power than anything else on this planet. And it didn't matter. That's the figure I had for the exercise and for the plan. 2,500 megawatts of power produced with a Moai tidal turbine. And you multiply that by the figure of how they got their 6 million, uh, 6 megawatt of power and it comes out to 5 million per megawatt. That's with electricity from hydraulics as well as hydrogen that's bottled okay so we're going an extra bit i'm just going to finalize those figures but at 20 pounds a share even if it was 50 pounds a share there's 249 million shares going out at say 20 pounds a share will yield 12.5 billion in uh, shares to build that much power, 2,500 megawatts of power. So that's a lot of power uh, from a small area of marine volume column, column of CB. Not much space to pull that much power out. But if we don't get enough, we just build another pile and put the bridge between and just keep going. We just keep going and start making platform for the demand of power we need. We're going to only build one of the structure of a 200 meter long bridge with three of these sets on it. You'll see on our site, you can see that we have a bridge looking like a platform airstrip. And that's what it is. That big one you see with the aeroplane flying on it, that's 100 billion to produce that. That's more like 50 uh, pounds a share, or even if we went up to 100 pounds a share. But I'm just keeping the figures down to 20 pounds a share on the D shares. The C shares are the remaining 500 shares. And I'm just keeping those together because they control the smaller shares, the one pound shares, and that lot. 
And so we take those shares and split that up till we come to the bigger ones. And then we're holding back. Um, we've let out 249 shares and we're keeping 251 shares in the company. Right, that's for any backup shares. So that these shares are now 20 pounds a share to pull in 12.5 billion manageable to those are mostly companies. Big companies like this this share company wants to bring in all the big companies. They go for those shares, but they can still buy the small shares. Well they need to get the free share or the gifted share to get in. So they're going to land up getting one of those. So they're getting those shares plus these shares. So if you've got that sort of money to which is not too much to ask for to get one piece of that share, then you're quite welcome to buy those shares and these shares in the same company. This is only one company of 250 that's going to open up in each country. Right? One for each country with a billion shares, one of a billion shares. Okay, so that I'll just make myself clear on that. That's how the figures stack up on the revenues and the potential of a three to one ratio payout. But I'm just saying that offhand because the tidal turbines will pull out a lot. But in the first instance, for the first one, it's more going to be expense spent building it uh, before you see any return once it starts pulling in the power. I'm picking that to build this would take inside a year to build the thing straight off the plan. It won't take much to put the plans together for this because I've had plenty of time to sort that out. Um, so it won't take uh, uh, much to get that together. My friend in Tauranga, uh, he's the engineer as well with me. He's doing the fuel cells and the hydrogen side of the project. Being Danish of origins, well he's a Kiwi, New Zealander, uh, but he has a bright mind on um, perfecting machinery and fine art steelworks in machining uh, exact parts. So he's uh, got his own fuel cells, quite huge ones, and water power systems, making power from water engines, and that that's his hobby as well as mine in hydraulics and. Um, extreme power from the sea. That's my experience in mechanics of pulling torque from any sort of power other than hydraulics and the sea and uh, hydrogen as being where we're targeting our market in the hydrogen economy. So Rob, that's one for you. I'm waiting for your call from California and I'll be glad to put something together. It'll take me a couple of days or so to update the project from what I just said just now. And that's A, B, C, D shares. The E shares will be anywhere from 100 to 1,000, more like 1,000 a share on the remaining shares. And I still keep the top end of the share structure as being controlling the rest of the shares lower. Okay, so the um, uh, ruling part of the shares is at the small end, at the top end of the value of all those shares came out of these one at the top. Okay, so we're having to look for directors uh, who are going to be exclusively membership no one outside of the cooperative um, to run the business for the interest in, in the interest of keeping the business on track it'll have the um, people who build the structures and build the whole system first up um, I'm, what I'm saying is we have H bank technologies in Taiwan that have the solid metal hydrogen tanks and experience in hydrogen there already in a, a verbal contract and we've got writing 
got it in writing. That was way back in 2009 or something, uh, 2010, more or less like that era. Um, by Bubenfan, Bu 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 I think his name is Bubenfan. Um, so I'll just contact them again once we get onto the land block at um, Port Awanui, uh, heading a tall, a tall block. On the 1st of October, we take up the lease, well, that's our own land, um, and set up the business there for Ro Ro uh, for Ranfilly Bank um, project plan from this budget and project um, uh, investment opportunities. Okay, and then we have the plan in Dover, in the village of Dover, where my friend is. She's the secretary there in England, for England, and we also have, uh, she wished to be not named at this stage, uh, so um, refrain from letting her name out until we are uh, clear with this venture. And then we have our other secretary in Scotland, and I'll keep her name from being published other than <coughs> I mentioned here and there, but she certainly is um, in the group and um, also um, here, Moira, here in Rotorua, running this in with me. Okay, so um, um, uh, Jamie, uh, my other secretary, she's meant to be flying with me as a private secretary to keep track on my movements here and there, uh, but I'm leaving that up to her to decide whether she's going to stay, remain here in New Zealand or travel around the block and back again, right through the well uh, with this project. But most of everything will be done online um, uh, in the interim uh, stages until we have um, the funding in place. In the meantime, we will be planning uh, the design work for the project and produce a model. But we haven't got a running model at the moment. We're only going on what the other um, real live projects are doing, CGM and this other project uh, up in Scotland that's um, um, advertising already on Facebook and YouTube. So I'm... Um, all for that one looks pretty good. It's um, anything hydraulic. I have an affiliation for hydraulics and its power is enormous as with anything else. It's not coming anywhere close to what we have in the Moai Tidal Turbine project. Big vein blades. Uh, so, um, uh, Rob, I hope this is of some substance information for you for the meantime, just to give you an idea, but I think you wanted a spread of the concept itself. Uh, I'll pull together something because I've got to bring everything up to date has changed. The concepts of tidal turbines has changed and the applications of law and tax incentives and all those benefits go back to the shareholders. There is at least a 7% per tax um, uh, claim against uh, anybody investing in, in shares. As I'll, I'll be more specific on that as soon as I get that together. I'll be working on that this week and next week um, and um, work out exactly close to what the return on investment is, it's looking like if it was operating, it would be a three to one re return. That means your free 25 shares, um, not one share at 25 pounds, uh, got to clear that up. It's 25 one pound shares, so you're getting 25 pounds worth of shares. Um, uh, as single one pound shares um, value and that would should come out at 75 
um, pounds out of the 25 pound original um, gift. So that means that if you leave the 25 pound, then you should be living living on um, on the rest of of what's come out. The 75, you should be living quite comfortably on 50. Oh, sorry, 50 pounds each week and chucking 25 pounds in to grow with the other gifted 25 pounds. I'm telling you an easy way to say it. That's my expectation, is that it's perpetual on the turbines to not stop. They keep spinning. As long as they're spinning, that's what you expect to get, 3 to 1 ratio. Okay? One left in the nest, eat, and two to live on. That, that's simple enough to understand why you should buy into this without spending a dime for a start. If you want to buy shares, that's fine. That's how the gift part works for your efforts to join. Moai's nothing but the best ideas and source of passive income on the expense of the sea power. Okay? It's the sea that's doing it and it's more or less God's gift free to extract it most efficiently this way. Okay? That's a mechanics point of view. If you know how to stall the tide and stop it from moving, that's the sort of power we're extracting trying to hold back the whole thing. Well, it's not going to hold back. It's going to go around what you got in the way. And so we'll hold it back from everything it's throwing at the turbine blades. That's never been done before. That's the challenge, Rob. I put out to all the other turbines to say <coughs> it's taken many hours to sort this one out or to think this one out and not sort this one out. Um, uh, so, um, any mechanic who's got his wheels on his truck on the dyno spinning it is looking for torque on his meter. So it goes up and torque on the wheel power as to the engine power, horsepower, as being some losses on the way through to the wheels. Right? So what comes out of the wheel is your net. Whereas with the turbines, your net is what you can get out of the sea from holding the whole lot back. I mean, big 100 meter deep wall of water going that way. And you put the blades up to stop it. That's the power we're talking about. People? Okay? It's quite different to the wave motion up and down like this. This is a big flat wall like that. They'll put on top of each other and try and hold the sea back. There's no show, it'll smash the bats if it's not strong enough. So that's the sort of power we're extracting here. And <coughs> mass amount, just then we take that power, we split, but we, we take that mechanical power, make it do hydraulics, and then turn the hydraulics to spin the big turbine um, to produce electricity. We take the electricity, split the water into hydrogen and oxygen, and then we compress it with the hydraulics into gas and right down into metal. Well, it's just a process that will take out half of what you're making in electricity. It will take half of what you're making out of the hydraulics. And the hydraulics mechanical power to electricity, electricity into gas power. That's what we're doing here, Rob, for the first time. This is the only way to produce liquid hydrogen to fly aircraft around the world <coughs> with reduced costs. We're taking a lot of the expense out of fossil fuels to produce it by producing with hydraulics.
our main source of power is hydraulics uh, to spread the water. Okay, so that's simply putting it, so what you're investing in is this power source that's untapped in great masses in the sea when you see the big rough waves that's what we're into okay Maui only thinks that big the project is that big and the shares should be equally so that big but we split it down to more shares at less cost to you at one pound 20 pounds then 50 pounds then 100 pounds then a thousand pounds well we're going to take a big leap right up to make the big bridge you see the big bridge there, Rob? It's got the airport on the top. That's our goal. Ultimate goal is the uh, British Lapcat A2 aircraft, passenger aircraft, hydrogen, 100% hydrogen operating. The only way you can operate it is on one of these projects, on the Moai tidal energy projects with the turbines to split the water. That's the only way you're going to do it. There's no other way. I've looked at every other way. There's no other way you're going to fly those aircraft. <coughs> Solar won't do it. Wind won't do it. Um, fossil fuels won't do it. And only water because the mass of the earth is mostly water. And so water is going to go back up in, uh, after it's burnt back into water. So we're not... Um, um, we're not killing anything other than people's egos at making something that's clean and uninterrupted by the moon's forces on the pull on the earth. But we're using that technology and skill to make something out of metal and concrete and a bit of know-how, idea is good. If you've got this idea I just told you, that's how it works. I don't think it's that hard to figure that out. So um, uh, with that, um, we, we, uh, we have that business running at the same time as the um, other businesses in, in Maui, uh, the fraud business, um, debtor levy, debtor pound note. We've got the pound note. That's um, we're going to um, put into the banks at some stage, not now, but uh, that is the ultimate. Once this shares gets going, the power note gets going, and then we have our our, our fuel uh, as uh, collateral to the power note. It it would value the power note and everything else that we add to it um, in industries or products. Uh, that we care to put in behind that. So that's really what I wanted to say to you. I don't want to make it too long, it did too long. Um, other than I'm waiting for a phone call and um, a little celebration for the um, um, opening of the company last night, about 11 o'clock. I got the email here that's online. Now I wait for the certificate now. I can. I can gladly say that the company is ready to do business with this flag and on the 28th of October 2016 this flag should be up the top of the pole on the Treaty of Waitangi grounds in Waitangi with King Itauru a chief as leading this country around the world with this project. Okay, with the Maui Tidal Turbine with this flag running around the world, anywhere in the world we have free passage with this flag, still in contract, 182 years on the 28th of October, 2016. This flag is 182 years old, given by King William IV. 1830-1837, laws apply, Westminster, to us, running this system, with our partners, the British military, Navy, and British government, why I'm so passionate about doing things from Westminster and the company's house in London. So we're part of the fabric of society there and here in the Pacific. All that expanse in the Pacific Ocean, 60 of these turbines are going in there with the airport 
base on top. Strategic military points as our surveillance and our fuel um, stations. There's here at, at uh, Ranfilly Bank. There's four in New Zealand. Uh, right down Bluff off the end, one right up the north uh, to supply the whole north and one in Wellington on the rough coast of Wellington and the other um, uh, Bluff, the other for the smelter down there to provide all the power it needs. There's no shortage of power for that. We'll have a stake in that smelter as well. Any, any steel making process here in New Zealand these turbines will do it. So there's one on the east coast, one on the west coast, New Plymouth, around that area, um, and uh, uh, more towards Wellington. So that'll supply Wellington and New Plymouth, and then the one down in Bluff, and the other one in more like Christchurch, up towards um, on the west port on the other side, there could be one there as well. So the other ones are in Australia, you've got Australia, Papua New Guinea, um, and um, <clears throat> I don't know how many in Australia, probably about uh, 10 in Australia and um, uh, one and two in Papua New Guinea, maybe three and then you've got Samoa, one in Samoa, you only need one for Samoa of these things you just keep adding on to it, another bank or pal it's each bridge is three pals, three times 2,500. Each pile should be putting each bank or array of turbines, five of them vertical, should be putting out 2,500 megawatts continuous power. And you've got three of them, so that's three, five, fifteen, three, uh, hang on, three, five, fifteen, three, two, six, seven, seven thousand megawatts, seven, seven thousand megawatts of power. And it goes down to four, about 4,000 megawatts in liquid hydrogen, okay? You'll lose almost half of it to make the liquid hydrogen storage. So what we're doing here uh, is we're storing the liquid hydrogen rod in big bottles, big, big bottles. I mean, they're four meter diameter steel tanks, the biggest tanks you can see, full up with liquid hydrogen, we've got plenty of hydrogen to burn. We've got refrigeration as another industry and and uh, chilling and all that sort of thing on the bridge. We, we, we do all the freezing and packaging on the, on, on the bridge from the mainland. They're all flown, all the food's flown straight there and packed and um, frozen or, or chilled and flown straight from there straight to wherever the countries are. So that's how we're going to do Ranfilly Bank. Um, and um, there'll be one off the Monaco Harbour for Auckland, uh, turbine there uh, as well. So there might be five in New Zealand. Um, just don't forget, each one is 2,500 megawatt, megawatt or 7,000 megawatts for three on a bridge. 7,000 megawatts is a lot of power um, for three of these banks. So. Um, we're storing energy on the site and with that energy we are running rocket engines underwater and on the turbine blades rocket engines that burn up the power and burn up the power uh, that we store and once we get a storage it will do the hours that the, tur the tide is slowing down and, and complete to complete stop the jet engines that's out of the water or the rocket engines that are under the water keep the turbines fired up and keeps everything moving the same frequency for the generator, big big generator. So um, it keeps the big donut that's floating on the water, that's the big, big one spinning at the right frequency, like uh, 60, 60 hertz or 50 hertz, 60 hertz or 50 hertz, one of the two, and more like 50 hertz um, speed for the generator, one big fat generator to produce that much power. Okay, we have superconducting magnets in there as well, 
um, and once the hydrogen is working, we'll go right down and screw more power out of that. We'll get 0.4 extra power out of the turbines with hydrogen uh, superconductive magnets. Okay? Well, that's another thing that's another addition to the turbines. That's making it with the storage of the hydrogen to keep it going for the non-tides, especially in um, uh, Dover Strait. <coughs> the tides are stopped for a long time in a day, right? At least a, 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 at least four hours stop each time the tide turns. So you're losing at least eight hours a day in tide stopping. This storage keeps these turbines going. They never stop. They never stop. So if it never stops, the revenue is still coming through with, um, with guaranteed power. That's why I say I can guarantee the ratio is not going to falter or the power note is not going to drop or go up and down like a yo-yo, like the stock market there now, it's all over the place. This stays there as steady as the sea and as steady as a rock Moai statue, okay? <coughs> it's steady and we have our products going up and staying up. Our power note is going to stay there right up. Once we set our power note with the British power note is sitting low at the moment, then when when ours starts going up, they still stay the same. We, we, we take off. We expect it to go up like that. Right? And every product that comes in, we have sea products, we have fisheries, we have packaging, we have flight, aircraft flights, we have our own aircraft, we have our own everything. You own everything, the cooperative membership. That's what you're buying into. It's not going to cost you anything to get into, only a gift. That's as good as I can make it. A gift that much. And thereafter, what you make, you plant back in. From your um, uh, net take, uh, we can work that out uh, quite easily. And I'm wanting to split it into weeks, not waiting for a whole year or a payout, we're going to split it off in weeks of so that your mobile phone has got money in it all the time. Okay, so that's all I should really say at this stage. Rob, apart I've just given you an idea, or the people know what they're going into, so um, it'd be good if you got uh, your investors lined up uh, for this one. I'll just try and put, we haven't got a model uh, as such to show you how it's working. Uh, once we get some money, my friend will knock one up. He'll knock the model up. Um, spin it up on the lathe and, and milling machines. <clears throat> but we'll get to that yet because we've got to pay people with brains. And I don't expect them to do it for free, like um, how we normally do things. So we're just setting the pay scale rates for our staff today, this morning. So these are all the things I have to do on top of the court hearing I have on Monday uh, uh, with the Auckland District Court and the police and the landowners on one block of land that I'm challenging the titles, okay? I'm talking from that angle of a king's surrogate of these flag, King William IV, um, authority to say what I say, mean what I mean, and do as I do to make this lot work and the turbine spin. Okay, it's up to you to now take my word or sit back and do nothing. That's all I can say and watch. But I think it's a good idea not to watch. The good thing is to get involved and get in early. Uh, there's lots of scope for jobs, employment, out of this, we're still running our website with people um, can put their names down and Maura's got all the instructions for me this morning how to do that and so uh, just sending it off to the other <coughs> um, woman in the office um, to follow suit and then it gets on to the engineer, my friend Kevin Reyes down in Tauranga uh, to back in behind with the model 
for the tidal turbines will be out in no time. We can knock that up and show you how it works. But I think you've got a fair idea. When you look at those um, floating wave turbines and it's got the hydraulic ram, you're looking at something that we're doing, similar hydraulics, only bigger, but it's still the same system. I've taken the calculations of that, of what I think, on their output, 4,000 homes from 6 megawatts, from those floats you see going up and down in the sea. Right? I've taken that calculation of the hydraulic size of the cylinder at 300 millimeters diameter, as two hours being somewhere out that way, on the difference in area of the hydraulic ram that's giving them six megawatts. <coughs> the scale is scaled right up to a size to get 2,500 megawatts besides six megawatts. So you can see the size of the structure of what we have would be a third or even a fifth of the size of that, not even close to that size on area in the sea. We won't take up as much room. We're only taking up 50 square meters of area <coughs> to get 2,500 megawatts of power. And these turbines we have are suitable for places where there's not much current, but depth, right? It's, 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 it's going to work and it's going to turn if the tide's moving at one knot, two knots, you're still going to get power. It's still going to get power of trying to shift that lot um, um, downstream. But it's not going to move. If, if you try and stop the, the tide, the tide's not going to wait for anybody. It's going to go around the size of it. All right. So that's the sort of power we're looking at that it can extract on slow moving tides or fast moving tides. If it's faster moving tides, we're getting more power. So if the tide's going three knots that way, we stop it at one knot. We're getting two knots of power hydraulics. Okay, that's the simplest way to put it. And that's how a dynamometer works with big trucks on, you see it spinning and revving its head off, or a car, and it's trying to spin all its power to spin the dyno and the needle reads the torque. It's the torque we are looking for that's going to give us the power of the waves, of the tide, not the waves, the tide. All right, that's all I wanted to say about that. So now I can end this video on a happy note that we are now in business in London, UK, England with Tidal Turbine, Moai Tidal Turbines and Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company. Congratulations to our company and staff. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye. Cheers.